from Los Angeles, California, criminal defense attorney Lara Uretzian is with us. Also from San Diego, California, criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor Brian Watkins. And in Seattle, Washington, former prosecutor and civil attorney Kirk Davis is with us. All right, everyone, welcome. Uh, this is a decision just came down today. I kind of think third degree may very well end up being part of this case. If it is, Lara, is this a huge blow to the defense? Obviously, if uh, the defense has been trying to fight this, and clearly they see it as a huge blow. But you can also look at it in a different way. It's a lesser, uh, not exactly lesser, but it's, it's not as serious as a second degree. And with this count, with this charge, Derek Chauvin will be facing 25 years. So if there's a possibility that he's going to get convicted, and if we get a jury that's going to want to convict, at least they'll have a choice of something that's not as serious as the second degree, where he's, he'd be facing, for example, a maximum of 25 years and maybe come out. You know, a judge could give him, obviously, less than that. So it depends on how you look at it. But clearly, this team, this defense team, sees it as a problem. They don't want this charge, uh, and they would rather have it kept out. Brian? That's really the way I... Go ahead, Kirk. Oh, I was going to say, that's the way I would see it if I'm defending this case. I don't want the jury to be considering a lesser charge. I want them, I want them looking at those really serious charges and thinking... Is this does this conduct fit this crime? Uh, because you're going to have a higher chance of an acquittal in a situation like that. that's why the prosecution is fighting so hard on this thing. They want they want that lesser crime. They saw what happened uh, in case like the Noor case. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why they're gung ho on this charge. I'm sorry to barge in on you, Brian. Thanks. Well, I got I got to disagree with you, Kurt. The defense is absolutely dropping the ball here and it's probably going to go up as ineffective as sense of the counsel. You want that lesser charge. The bottom line here is this is too politically and, and, and media intense. He's going down on something and you want that charge to be less. You want it to be third degree. You don't want it to be first and second because he's got to go down on something and to take that away from a jury and say, give us, you know, give it all or nothing. Give me first or second degree or nothing is a problem because they're going to say, well, he's got to go down on something. And it's going to be the, it's going to be the more severe charge. So they want, the defense should want that lesser included because they could compromise and give them that lesser included. Going all in is a very gutsy, gutsy move. But the problem is it's Mr. Chauvin's chips, not the lawyers. Does it, with. does it change the way you try the case at all, Lara? Uh, you know, for the defense, if, if now you've got this extra charge in there? Of course. I mean, if I were in their position, I'd want to buy myself additional time at this point. Your entire strategy changes. You've got an additional charge. This, this is if the judge decides to allow this in for this to, to go forward. Of course, the entire strategy is going to change how they're going to be approaching the voir dire, how they're going to question these jurors, what their opening statement's going to look like, uh, which direction they're going to push the case. Sometimes defense attorneys may decide, you know what, we're okay with that lesser count and they want to get the jury, they'll kind of guide the jury and question witnesses in a way to get them to that point. Their closing argument would be that. So we, I don't know what this defense team is going to do once they're stuck with this charge, and they may decide to go that way. So strategy can be truly impacted. Most likely, they're going to need some time. There, there's going to be potentially some delay in this trial. How dare you say that, that there's going to be oh, delay, I know. Uh, it, Kirk, Everybody's waiting well, for this one. None of I the facts say, have changed here. There, no facts have changed. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it, Kirk? Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, if I'm the defense attorney, number one, I don't want this charge, so I'm going to respectfully disagree with my colleague, Brian. But number two, with uh, the other reason to fight this thing is, is a delay. Hey, delay is your best friend. And uh, when, you're a, when you're a criminal defense attorney and that's what you want here, hey, let's, I mean, it's already so political. Court TV is covering this. This is one of the, apparently one of the first TV cases. It's going to be on TV here in Minnesota. And so, I mean, you've got people all over the country, all over the world looking at this thing. Hey, let's calm this thing down as much as possible. Delay, delay, delay. But Kurt, I got to disagree with you. Because it's the defense okay. that wants to go forward. The prosecution was the one seeking the delay. And to be honest with you, what's going to happen is this, this appellate court ruling is not that big of a deal. Okay, the appellate court ruling, we have to be clear, only says, hey, trial court, relook at this. 
The trial court can still say, I re-looked at it, I did it under your standards, and I still say no third-degree murder charge. It is not a ruling that says the third-degree murder charge will be instated. That's not what the ruling says. All it says is, hey, trial court, take another look at it and use the Nor case as precedent when before you didn't. He can still come up with the same you know, result, which is, nah, no third-degree murder. It'll be fascinating to see if the judge does that because, I mean, prosecutors have fought and fought, you know, reconsider, reinstate. Let's take it to the appellate court. I, I, and I wonder, you know, if the judge uh, does reinstate it, if they'll, if they'll appeal it again. I mean, we're, we're, jury selection begins Monday. That's you a problem.